My name is Kayla Whitson, and this is my third year teaching at Piney Woods Elementary. I am a second grade teacher, and I absolutely love my class and love teaching. When I'm introducing stations, the first thing I do is I model the expectation. So if I'm teaching them how to do read to partner, I will sit down on the carpet with a student and I will read with them. The next thing I will do is I will show them the correct way to do it and the incorrect way to do read to partner. When I'm teaching stations, I never ever ever teach them all stations in one day. I will teach them how to do the one station correctly, then we will all practice the station. The next day, I will teach them how to do another station. So for instance, I will do read to partner one day, day two, I'll do read to partner and word work. When I'm teaching stations, I always model my expectations. I show them the correct and the incorrect way to do the station. I've learned that if I don't model the expectations, some students may be clueless as to what they are doing. I know that if I don't teach them the correct way to do it, then they will do things that I don't want them to do at the station. Transitions are crucial when you're setting up stations. I always give students a recap of what they're doing before they go to the station and I usually have them call it back to me. I give them a, about two minutes to transition and most of the time they are able to do it in less than two minutes. They usually get it done in one minute. It's very important to have smooth transitions because if the students do not transition smoothly to their station, they're already wild and crazy when they get there and they're not doing the station correctly. This year, my class has been very successful in our stations during guided reading. If you would like to try something new during stations and you are unsure of how to set those expectations, please contact me and I will be glad to help.